What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the worst boss I have ever had. Let's get right into this. So as you guys know, I used to work at Canadian Tire. I was there for about five years. And over those five years, I had three different bosses. And the funny thing with Canadian Tire is when you're at a small location, usually a boss doesn't last longer than two years because when you're at a smaller location, that's smaller profit that they can make. Now, they get they go to those smaller locations so they can gain experience and then they can move on to a bigger store. Bigger store means bigger profit. So usually a smaller store, they're using, they're using it as a stepping stone to get them to the big store to make the big money. So usually they don't last in smaller locations longer than two years. So the first boss that I had was amazing. He's the one that hired me. He was really hands-on, always bringing in coffee and treats and he did barbecues and he did pool parties at his house and different things like that. So it was a really great experience with him and Christmas parties was amazing because everybody got something plus the $50 that we get each year. That was awesome. The second boss was still pretty good. At the time, we always bashed him and said we hated him because he didn't do anything for a Christmas party. Nobody got anything. Um, we never, we rarely seen him because whenever he'd come in, he'd go straight to his office and he'd sit in his office all day, was never hands-on, was never on the floor, never did anything with us. So we kind of hated him, but in a way, after he left and we got the last boss, which was the worst boss I've ever had, we realized that he wasn't so bad. The previous boss wasn't so bad. He just did his own thing, ordered the products in, took care of us on that end, and left us alone to run the store, which was great. The last boss at first was okay, but he turned out to be a complete dick, and I've talked about this a lot on the channel. So coming into different Canadian tires, when a new boss comes, they can technically bring a few or a lot of employees from their previous store, different managers or different people to run the store. And that's what this guy did. He brought a husband and wife, which were both as acting store managers. And then he also brought in a uh, automotive uh, shop manager who has no experience running an automotive shop. He has less experience at Canadian Tire than I did and to me he was not the brightest person but he did bring him in as well which I worked in automotive so I did have to work with this guy which eventually we butt heads a lot. Uh, he wanted me to do all his work for him and I do not run that way at all. But as the boss, the boss was actually pretty good at first. He took care of us. Christmas parties, he got us stuff. Uh, throughout the year, he didn't really get us much. I think it was rare that we seen a uh, Subway party, so they'd bring in a bunch of Subway sandwiches or a pizza party or different th things like that. It was rare for him to do that, but he would at least do it, whereas the previous boss didn't. But I liked the previous boss a lot more. This guy here is more hands-on, but he just did things that made absolutely no sense. So. Being in a small town, he counted it as a tourist town, a tourist destination, and we had nothing in the town, it, nothing that brought us tourists in. The reason he called it that is because the highway that connects Toronto to Montreal, we're right next to that, but that's not gonna bring people in. We did have a waterfront that was okay, right on uh, the St. Lawrence River, right off the St. Lawrence River. That was it. Nobody's gonna come into our town for Canadian Tire. So it just, the things he did just made no sense. He bought things for travelers, but never sold any of them because there's not that many travelers coming in, like travel mugs and different things for people that are traveling they usually will buy. Wasn't selling any of it, and a lot of things he was ordering in just made no sense. So it was hilarious at the time. But the reason he became the worst boss is he started to cut people's hours when a minimum wage went up. He cut my hours from 40 hours a week, which I was full time. He cut them down to about 15 hours a week. At one point, I worked myself up from when I started and I started at the parts department, mostly on the retail side. Then I became the parts advisor. Then I became the parts and service advisor. So I was basically running the counter and running the automotive shop. And right before he came, I was actually in the shop doing oil changes, batteries and tires 
for vehicles while also being a service advisor and running the counter and running the shop basically when he came he took that away from me and i was good at it like i was the top one of the top performers so i was good at it and he took that away to give it to the manager uh, who just did not know how to do things and i talked about a story on the channel where it was uh he ordered in like eight engines for a vehicle the first one it was the wrong engine the second one was the wrong engine the third one there was something wrong with it the fourth one it was totally destroyed when we received it so he just did not know how to do his job he was ordering things in that could not be returned and things in that made no sense and he was just basically running the shop into the ground but they took my hours away and I was no longer a service advisor. I was mainly on the part side, but the manager would try to make me with those less hours, give me more stuff that I had to do. And if I didn't finish it by the end of my shift, the next shift I came in, I'd get yelled at. But instead of being there for eight hours, I was there, for example, for four hours. And in that four hours, I had to do the same amount of work or was supposed to get done the same amount of work as I would in an eight hour period. And it was just super stressful. I absolutely hated it. I was financially stressed because I'm losing hours, which is losing money, but I absolutely hated my job at that time because of the bosses. Now, previous bosses were amazing and I worked myself up from parts advisor, working the parts counter up to basically running the shop. And they just took that away from me because they wanted to give it to this person who was terrible at it. So I did stick it out for another six months, but after that, uh, I had a run in with the boss. So I became sick to the point that I couldn't work. I was back and forth to the doctors for two weeks. At first, he gave me a doctor's note for three days. Three days later, I'd had to go back to the doctor. Uh, he gave me another doctor's note and it was just constantly giving doctor's notes. The week I was to return, I think I mentioned this on the channel too as to why I quit. The reason I, uh, the week I was to return, I went into work, they canceled my shifts for all that week. So not only did I have two weeks unpaid, the week I was to return, they just canceled all my shifts. So I was pissed off. The next day I got called into the office and the boss just yelled and screamed at me, told me how terrible of worker I am, called me every name in the book, and then basically said, are you coming in on Friday? And I'm like, yeah, I should be. He's like, are you coming in on Friday? You should be, or are you? Like, he was just a dick about it. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll come in on Friday. Went in on Friday, and I just quit. Came in with my regular clothes on. Manager was pissed. He's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, yeah, I quit. They literally made me write it on a piece of paper. Like, hey, you have to write out, like, that you're quitting, and you have to sign it. I'm like, I don't, but I'll do it. So I literally took a piece of paper and wrote, I quit, and then signed it my name. Didn't know what else to do. It was the first time quitting a job and I just did it in the moments and I, I uh, talked to my parents about it for the whole week, but literally that boss was the worst boss I've ever had. Even moving on from Canadian Tire, working at the casino now, all of the supervisors, the managers are amazing for my department. Some of the other departments I just don't like and I'm not too fond of, but I don't have to deal with them. They're not my manager. They're not my, uh, they don't run and control me whatsoever. Uh, it's just security controls me. So. I can't say there's any bad manager at the casino that I work with or supervisor, but this guy here was by far the worst boss I've ever had. He just treated people like shit. And the funny thing is he always put a, he was two faced. So he always put a smile on for the community. He always donated for the community. He always did events for the community. He always uh, did hockey nights and uh, different things for the hockey players of the community. So, in the newspaper you always seen or on Facebook you always seen like oh the manager's doing this now the owner of Canadian Tire is doing this I was about to say his name there but I'd rather just not uh, so he always did things for the community and the community loved him for that but as an employee you've seen the dark inside you've seen him yell at employees you've seen him get pissed off at employees you've seen him how he treated all of us it wasn't just me he treated a lot of people this way he cut a lot of people's hours people that have been there for 20 years cut their hours to give it to one of the people that he brought with us which a lot of them were just not smart and just did not know how to run anything and that's who he brought as management he honestly didn't even know how to run things and wasn't that good of uh, owner of the store, but he was a complete, complete asshole. And I'm just glad that I quit. I had enough of it. Finally manned up, 
decided what I wanted to do with my uh, after there, which was security, and decided to quit and went for security and got the job at the casino because I just couldn't handle it anymore. I'm not going to go to work, get yelled at, demand more out of me when I'm getting less hours, uh, and just treating me like shit. I, I don't don't like that. So I decided uh, definitely to quit. And <sighs> Worst boss that I've had. There's so many screaming matches I had with him. There's so many different things that I've had with him and different stories. I think a lot of part I did share a lot of the stories on the channel with you guys, but I'm glad I don't have to deal with him again. And I think since then he did leave that Canadian Tire. Again, they only stay about two years at Canadian Tire, but he did leave the Canadian Tire and he did move on. So now he's not even in the town, which I don't live in uh, my hometown anymore. I've moved away into Ottawa, but I just could not handle it anymore. And I'm glad that I did burn the bridge in a way and I quit the way I did because number one, they weren't expecting it. Number two, I felt completely satisfied. You treat me like shit for almost two years that he was there, treated me like shit. I just, I got the best out of it and I was able to quit the way that I wanted to and do my own thing. So this was the story of the worst boss that I've ever had. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below the worst boss you have had or if you had similar experiences at work. Did you just put up with them or did you do like I did and just quit? Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.